So last Friday, remember 10 o'clock, they shut down this and another ramp and you can see where they've started to dig those buried ramps out. They built years ago this Friday, tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, they stop traffic and they cut through the detours that have been placed for years. You probably don't even recognize them as detours anymore. Well, here's the wild card they're talking about, which is what are the unexpected things that are going to happen over the next three weeks that could really throw traffic into a tizzy? It could be weather. It could be car crashes and truck crashes, large and small. And today we got a flavor for how these multiple agencies are going to try and cope with that. We usually put that up on the big screen. So. There are traffic cameras aimed at the Alaskan Way viaduct from multiple angles. And this is one of two key places where they're monitored. The Transportation Operations Center under Seattle's Department of Transportation. We see where we seem to be having some difficulties where traffic is backing up in a way that's unexpected. Getting a briefing from Heather Marks, Director of Downtown Mobility, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. The new incoming SDOT director, Sam Zimbabwe, and State Transportation Secretary, Roger Millar. Also here, retired Air Force General Mike Warden, just six days into his new job as the citywide mobility chief, the man who will coordinate the multi-agency responses when those wild cards get played. I've seen a lot of complexity and I've seen people behave under crisis conditions or under stress conditions and how to work together with coalition partners, or in this case, the regional partners. That sounds a bit like what we've heard from multiple wars in the Middle East. Our region and the city especially are now entering a construction battle. How do we get through the next month? We tabletop likely scenarios. We tabletop worst case scenarios. So we all know when that happens, this is how we respond. This is who's in the lead and this is who gets out of the way. The state transportation secretary in the general meeting for the first time today. But General Warden works for the city, and the city will need what he brings for years to come. Transportation battles that will last long after the viaduct is dust. Right now the city of Seattle has um, unprecedented challenges. We know the Seattle Department of Transportation has a body of work that is significant by itself. Now, that's significant in this way. Remember, we're having a much greater expansion to the convention center. There's all the waterfront work that's going to happen when they kind of regrade and rebuild the new Alaskan Way, the surface street. Now it's punched through. You can drive through there, but there's going to be a lot of upgrades that are going to take years to play out. And let's not forget the key arena up by the Space Needle, another big construction project. All are looming, and in some cases, in the case of Alaskan Way, have already begun. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.